Hello there viewers, this is Hobo525, and today I will be taking a look at the Vulture Build-A-Figure Moon Knight. So yeah, very excited to review this figure. I've been wanting to review him for a long time. And yeah, this was the last figure I needed to complete the Vulture Build-A-Figure. So that's really good because I really like that Build-A-Figure. Or Build-A-Wings, I guess. So yeah, um, not really much to say. Let's get started. So yeah. Basically your standard Marvel Legends packaging. I really like this logo right here where it's like a kind of like a crescent moon, but it doesn't fall to you. Oh, that's a really cool. I like that a lot. And there also there's also a moon logo right there, so that's pretty cool too. So yeah, there's also some side art with Moon Knight, so I think that's pretty cool. And then you have the standard bio on the back. Okay, so a vision in an Egyptian temple leads Mark Spectre to don a silver Shroud and become the crime fighting hero Moon Knight. Sorry if the camera was the camera was all shaky. Um, I was just holding it up, but yeah. So he, yeah, I mean, hmm. that's pretty cool. I mean, it's just basically just said it's old origin story. I don't know where I was going with that, but hmm. so here are the other figures in the wave, and here is the build of wings right there. So you need Spider Man, the other Spider Man, the homemade suit one. Um, Moon Knight, Captain Universe, Spider-Man, Tombstone, Beetle, or Little Hobo, yeah, and well, the Vulture, obviously, so, yeah, and the Vulture does come with part of it, he comes with, like, kind of, like, the base of the wings, so, yeah, I don't know if I'll review that, because I already reviewed the figure, like, when I first started this channel about five months ago, I know the video says four months, but if you round it up, it's five months ago, um, so, yeah, I don't know if I'll review the build of figure, and, you know, it is, it's, a, and it's like in a really, it's like in a really cool pose and I don't really want to take it off. So, yeah, um, nice packaging. And yeah, uh, with that said, let's take him out. Okay, so here is Moon Knight right here. And wow, this figure is really, really good. So, yeah, well, let's take a better look at him. Okay, so as you can see, he has very, very nice head sculpt. I mean, it is, it is a pretty standard head sculpt, but it does look like pretty much like a cool like little mask thing. Um, it does kind of have, like, face sculpts, like his nose right there. I like that detail, and I do like how his eyes are kind of blue and white. They kind of remind me of the Iron Man eyes, so, yeah, very nice head sculpt. Um, I think it's a repaint of the Captain Universe Spider-Man head sculpt, so, yeah, I mean, I think that, I, I don't really have a problem with that. I'm just mentioning that, and by the way, I'm going to review him next time because I really like this figure, so, yeah, cannot wait to get to him, but, yeah, I think they, I might be wrong, I think they have the same... Uh, no, I don't, actually, I know, I don't think they do, they might, I don't know, but, yeah, they look similar, they look similar, at least, so, yeah, um, I really like the hood and, like, the wrinkles in it, it kind of reminds me of Deadpool with the hood kind of going back out there, you know what I'm saying, and then you have the cape, which looks really cool, um, and it does stick in the back right there, so you kind of gotta stick it in there so it's not all wobbly, and then you, um, yeah, you just have everything else. Uh, I, um, you do have this little chest plate over here. Um, it's pretty cool. It's kind of loose. I th I don't know if that's a defect, but kind of it's kind of annoying. He does have nice shoulder pads right there, which looks really cool. And then he has these nice, um, I guess, uh, gauntlet. No, it's not a gauntlet, but like arm protectors. I forgot their, what they were called. But yeah, I, I like how they're shaped like moon or crescent moons. I think that's really cool. And then you kind of have the two moons on the side right there. Um, and the paint apps are nice too. I like, I love this kind of paint. It's kind of metallic, you could say, shiny black type of paint. It doesn't really continue on the legs and the arms, which is kind of disappointing, but I, it's pretty much only on the torso, really. I don't know why this isn't added for the rest. Um, so yeah, it also has more of the mm, crescent moons right there, right over there. And I do like the feet, like, or like the moon boots. Yeah, moon shoes. Hey, get it? Isn't that funny? Yeah. And then there's kind of like crescent moon right there, and there's crescent moon right there. And yeah, bro, um, I like how the moons kind of stick out. They're not just painted, they're like its own sculpt. Um, there's a little bit of, there, if you see, there's a little bit of a splat of paint on the hands, which is kind of annoying uh, because it's not on the other hand, so it's obviously, that was obviously not intentional. Sorry about the camera right there. So yeah, um, you can take off the cape, I believe. Uh, I'm not going to take off the hood. But yeah, here he is without the cape. So, you know, he looks pretty cool, I guess. I think the hood's glued on there. 
But yeah, I know he looks he yep. looks kind of cool. I like him better with the cape though. So yeah, let's take a look at his articulation. Okay, so Moon Knight basically has your standard articulation, you know, the bicep swivel, arm goes up, double jointed elbows, looks pretty nice. Um, yeah, his arms go pretty go up pretty well, even though he has shoulder pads, and I really hate when Hasbro, like, kind of prevents some characters' arms from going up because they have shoulder pads, like Nakia, but this guy has shoulder pads, and he's able to have his arms go up, so, yeah, pretty, pretty nice that they did that. Um... He does have nice hand roti articulation, not rotation. Well, I mean, he has nice hand rotation, too. Nice ab crunch. It really goes far down, actually. And his head doesn't really look up too much because of his hood and his cape. So, yeah, um, his leg goes up pretty well. Uh, it does have double-jointed knees. Um, He does have ankle pivot. And I don't know if you saw it earlier. If you spotted it when I was looking at the feet earlier, there was a little defect that takes away from this figure quite a bit. As you can see, okay, so this, this like part of the foot right there, like his ankle or whatever, it's like in his socket real well, but right here, this one sticks out, and it's not, it's not a case where I just push it back in. Look right there, that's how the plastic is made. That's, that's kind of annoying. It's like they forgot to sculpt the bottom half of the leg. That's about half the leg, but the bottom half of the lower leg. Yeah, that is really disappointing. It looks really, really weird. I don't know. Um, because then it makes his foot look too big. Like, it just makes him look like he has a skinny leg. It looks like he lost a leg. And then, he just has this new one now, which doesn't really make any sense to me. And I'm pretty sure he didn't lose his leg in the comics. I don't know, I don't even read Moon Knight comics that much. Uh, I wanna, I wanna start reading them. He's very interesting. I've been researching him up. I've been researching him up lately. You know, that's kind of why I'm reviewing this figure. And yeah, um... But yeah, because he, he, he is a really cool character. Uh, so yeah, basic articulation, but you know. It's still a very good, very good figure. I like this figure. It's just that de defect kind of annoys me. I'm not really the biggest fan of that. But all around, this figure is really, really good figure. I suggest you get this guy. And yeah, um, let's go for his accessories now. Okay, so as you can see, he does come with multiple accessories with his... Moonerangs, I think they're called that in the comics. I don't know. I just come, come they're basically like batter range except like crescent moons. And then he does come with this um staff over here, and he does come with um, different sets of hands. So, yeah, uh, let's try them on. Okay, right here. So, his weapon fits in his hand very, very well. It is kind of bendy though. I kind of wish it was made out of plastic. I don't know why it's rubber. So, yeah, it is kind of sensitive, which kind of which is kind of annoying, but. You know, it's not too bad. I think this is like Daredevil's weapon, except it's like repainted white, I think. I mean, it's not really a repaint. They actually use this for... Hasbro uses this type of piece a lot. Um, the other, the only other figure I have that has this kind of weapon is... Uh, what's her name? What's her name? What's her name? What's her name? Um, 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 is it Kinnear? I always get these two confused. Mockingbird. Mockingbird. I always get her confused with um, Canary, or Black Canary. So yeah, very cool. They also detach, which is really cool. Um, I'm gonna put this side on right here though, near the bottom. Um, so yeah, it looks really cool. Um, so yeah, they are really cool. They're kind of too small to, to me when they're like this, so I just keep it in the one big staff. I, I probably won't do that if I get a Daredevil, but I don't know, I just prefer the big staff kind of thing for Moon Knight. And yeah, let's put on his interchangeable hands now. Okay, so he does have interchangeable fist hands right there. And I guess I can go over the other accessories. And yeah, these hands are pretty well detailed. This doesn't really have the splotch of black paint like the other hand did. And yeah, pretty pretty good articulation on the hands. But you know, this kind of incorporates in this nice next accessory. Oh, these little moon arrangements. There's two more, but... A really cool thing that Hasbro did, because you're probably wondering how come they don't fit the hands, because they wouldn't in the regular hands. So what you can do, there's little like holes between the knuckles right there, so you put, so you can put the thing in them. Hold on, let me. Hold on. Wait a minute. Okay, so what you can do is just put them, put the little moonerangs between the knuckles, and yeah, it looks really cool. Kind of, how, it's like he's holding it in like a fist. Which is a really cool detail. They should definitely do that for more figures. And it also has it for this other side too. It's not just this side. I just put all three on the right hand because it looks cool. So yeah. Oh wait, I almost forgot the 
um, big meringue. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. But yeah, very cool concept. They should do this. Very creative. And it kind of you can like do kind of like a throwing effect. I I, I don't know. Um, it would have been nice though, if you like you know the bullseye that came with the Netflix wave, the man thing. It would have been nice if it, like you know like the bullseye has the knives and just like a little throwing effect. It would have been nice if Moon Knight had that, except it was, except it was with his moonerang moonerangs. That would look really cool. I wish they did that, but alas, no. So yeah, let's go on to his next accessory. Okay, so it does come with a bigger moonerang, which can't fit in like the two, well, like in between the knuckles, it's not big enough, so, I mean, it's not small enough, so it just fits in this hand right here, so, yeah. Um, he almost fell. Sorry, it's kind of hard to get him to stand up with this little disability he has right there. I mean, not really disability, more like a defect. So yeah, that kind of sucks that he has it, by the way, but, I mean, all around, this figure is really good. I really like this figure, which is that one little defect. And I guess you really shouldn't be expecting it if you buy, like, a figure. If you want to buy one, because it's not in all the figures, because I've seen reviews on this figure before. And none of them, like, has ever said anything about the defect. So, yeah, um, like, it might happen to your figure. I don't know. I mean, I figured it might. And, yeah, he's kind of leaning up on his cape right there. So, yeah, all around good figure. Definitely recommend him if you want to complete the Vulture Wave. He's an excellent addition to that wave, actually, so... Yeah, next review is going to be Captain Universe Spidey. Cannot wait. And yeah, thank you all for watching. With that said, oh yeah, wait, like, subscribe, and share. Yeah, with that said, Hobo Fuzzy 5 out.